how is Amazon going to make an investor from Texas who's investing in real estate some money? How is that going to work? Well, let's talk about it. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show. I'm James Wise. I am here for you people, here to talk real estate. That's what we do here. If you're interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, under the video uh, is a link to book a call with my team. You get customized, personalized videos like this. Today's video is from my man, Matt. Matt, you're from Frisco, Texas. And today I want to talk to you about Amazon. No, no, no. I'm not going to try to sell you on one of those like weird Amazon like scam ad things that you see all the time. Like It's like, yo, bro, give me like 40 grand and I'll build you like an automated Amazon store. And then you get super rich. I don't think that I'm, I'm gonna guess that doesn't work. I mean, I'm, you know, it doesn't pass my sniff test. But no, that's not what we're talking about. We're talking about one of the most proven businesses in the world, owning real estate. Right? Nobody's become a self-made millionaire uh, more often in the United States of America uh, than in real estate. Right? Like, I guess what I'm trying to say is like, you take all the self-made millionaires in America, like 90% of them became self-made millionaires through real estate investing. Right? It's a common theme freaking real estate they don't make more land folks makes sense right now matt you're in texas but the pricing kind of high out there so you came to the cleveland market northeast ohio right you wanted to buy some rentals here i've been working with you for a minute and i got one for you a little bit different a little bit nicer a little bit newer than some of the other stuff uh that you've been looking at and amazon amazon is going to be the big reason you make a bunch of money right so it's not through one of those crazy stores. No, it's because Amazon has got like a foothold of jobs up in this area. Kind of a big deal when uh, the fulfillment center uh, happened out there, right? And, uh, well, tell you what, we'll just go to a quick break and we'll go into the numbers on the property. And I will talk about Amazon, talk about the property, talk about your investment, talk about me handling your investment. We're going to do it all momentarily. Man, I hate those other real estate gurus out there. Those real estate gurus that lead you guys to believe fairy tales, lead you guys to believe in magic, lead you guys to think that there's going to be genies granting your wishes if you buy their course or their program. Like there's going to be hot girls in bikinis just popping out. That's not the real life of a real estate investor. And here on Holton Wise TV, we give it to you straight. Welcome back. We are going to pull up the numbers, the numero unos on this one, okay? Now, this is different, okay? This is different than what you normally see in Cleveland, right? How many people out there watch me go over to this screen all the time, right? See me? This is not what the duplexes normally look like, right? Because most of the duplexes in this market are going to be like your 100-year-old up-down duplexes, right? The two big front porches. This is different. Newer neighborhood, 1963. Now, I know there's people watching the show that are like, wait, 1963 is new? Where, like, where did my spaceship land? Well, this is freaking Ohio. This is Cleveland, Ohio market. Yeah, that's new for us, man. Uh, it's a 100-year-old housing market. That just, that's just how the cookie crumbles, right? Here's the interior. All looking fairly decent, okay? This is essentially as new as it's going to get uh, in this price range, all right? We got one tenant moving out, right? So what we have, what we have, folks, we have one tenant already paying eight fifty. But truth be told, that's a $900 unit, right? So long term, you're going to get nine out of that. You're going to get nine out of the other one. So 18 comes in, 21600 right? 21600 But obviously, we got to do some work, right? This is the unit. Clearly not rent ready. If you think it's rent ready, you're obviously an insane person because it's not rent ready. We have to spend some moolah. Don't worry. My team will do that renovation for you. I shall go over the numbers momentarily. But first, I want to bring your attention right here. That's a furnace. That's a furnace. But guess what? Those furnaces are like brand spanking new looking, dude. I don't know if they're like brand new, brand new, but they're fairly new. Okay, here's the deal with furnaces. Right now, post-COVID world, these bad boys are running you about 35 apiece to get installed. And they last about 30 years. If I had to guess, put my little 
guesstimation hat on, I would tell you that those furnaces are probably both within the first three to five years of their life expectancy. Maybe even newer, maybe one to two. They don't stay shiny like that for long. So you got almost 30 years before you got to drop that 7Gs, right? A uh, little finished action in the basement there. Nice dry basement, right? Uh, dry basement's not necessarily something you're always going to see in a lot of the rental markets here in the Cleveland area. By the way, hot water tanks cost about 1000 Uh This one is probably over five years old. This one is less than five years old. Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years, right? So we got bones. We got great bones here. All we really need to do is cosmetically make this thing look beautiful. By the way, I didn't even give you the address. Uh, 27360 Tungsten, e Euclid, Ohio, east side suburb. I like Euclid quite a bit. Uh, they just recently built an Amazon fulfillment center in Euclid, so we got a few thousand jobs out of that, and I love it, right? Now, don't be wrong. It's 2022 right now, so this probably doesn't seem like that big of a deal, uh, but like the the fulfillment center was maybe like two or three years ago, and the big thing was Amazon was going to pay Every single worker, no matter who they were, at least $15 an hour. And that was like a big thing. We're like, oh, shit, that is awesome. Uh, it's like the prime wage uh, that you want your tenant base to be, right? Because, like, you know, if, like, some new thing opens up and they're hiring, like, plastic surgeons, I mean, sweet, but, like, a plastic surgeon's not going to rent your uh, duplex apartment building. Sorry. Um, so it's very cool that you have all these new jobs coming in that's, like, perfect for your tenant base. Uh, I mean, now it's, like, 2022, and... You know, everybody's bitching and whining about 15 an hour or whatever. So it's kind of like really kind of taken over. But that was like at the height of it, right? That was like the first thing like in Northeast Ohio. Big companies started offering 15 an hour, right? So that was like a big deal. So I like Yuka. I like Yuka quite a bit. We got a ton of properties over there, right? So this thing is pretty darn nice, right? Now, all we really need to worry about is fixing up that other unit. We'll get the existing tenants rent up slowly over time. They're close enough to market where we shouldn't really need to mess with it. I mean, market is 900 and they're already paying 850, right? So you don't neither, you know, if $50 rent one way or the other makes like you choose to buy or not buy a rental property, I'll tell you right now, save your money. You're in the wrong business, right? That's an irrelevant sum of money, right? As far as purchase price goes, they're asking 150, but it's been on the market for quite some time, right? Quite some time, 117 days. I'm sure that tenant trashing that unit makes it uh, kind of hard for these people to sell. I think we can get a little discount. 135 is what I'd like to offer, right? And then after closing, my team will fix up that unit, get it ready to rent for 900, and that should cost you roughly 15k. We'll do all the rentals, so you're all in at 150. All your upfront money would be uh, your down payment plus those repairs. Uh, if you're doing 25% down, would be 33,750 plus the 15k in repairs. That's 48,750, 101,000 mortgage. That would result in a cool, calm, collect, easy 10% ROI. And again, you have a home that is 40 to 50 years newer than a lot of the housing stock in this market. You got a great Great tenant base out there with very stable income. I mean, dude, I mentioned earlier, you know, th nowadays, today's days, right? I was like, yo, 15 an hour from Amazon back then was crazy. Now it's kind of normal. But you know what else is normal right now? Amazon ruined the world. This is post-COVID. Everybody's out of business, and Amazon just took it over, right? So if you're going to have a rental property and the biggest employer in town uh, is Amazon, I think you're always going to have a very stable base of tenants, right? So this one, I like this deal quite a bit. Let me know what you want to do. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.